Okay, this is a uh, Hewlett Packard <coughs> Hewlett Packard DV7. This is a Pavilion DV7. I'm going to show you how to get into the um, into the hard drive and memory and the BIOS uh, BIOS battery. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, take the battery out, and you're going to wait for about 10 seconds. During the 10 seconds, you can do the, all the screws. There's uh, six screws to do. Uh, I've already loosened all but one. Uh, you do need a small Phillips head to do this. All right, uh, I'm going to pop this out. Okay, I'm going to lift up here and pull forward. When we put this back in, um, I need to show you that there's uh, tabs here and there's tabs on the sides. So uh, like like other uh, other laptops, there's a lot of clicking. Sometimes you feel like you're going to break break the uh, uh, laptop. Okay, the BIOS battery is over here, and uh, you just slide this out sideways to get it out and pop it back in. It's a unique battery, so you have to get it from either HP or if they sell them on uh, on uh, eBay. Very short wire down to the motherboard. Um, this is the hard drive. There's normally two screws in here. I uh, don't know what happened to the other. Um, Nice thing is this one uh, allows you to have two hard drives. Now if you do have this kind of computer or a computer that can have two hard drives, you need to get another tray to, to put the hard drive in there. Don't just put the hard drive in and try putting keeping it in with erasers and stuff like that to uh, get a tray, do it the right way, okay, and, um, and slide another hard drive in there. But it's nice to have two hard drives and you can uh, put all your data on one and uh, if, the, if this one fails, your data is protected over there. Okay, you're going to take this and move it back. You got a pull tab over here, pull it back and up. There is a channel way, right there and right there that these two things go down. All right, so when we put the hard drive back in, it has to sit in that channel to have it go back in. You have four screws to take out, and you you pop the hard drive out. Now this, this uh, when you look at the hard drive, uh, it has a lot of data on it. And what you're looking for is with the uh, gigabytes, it's 400 gigabyte hard drive. You want to go get about the same or, or bigger when the hard drive fails. But be careful because some laptops can't take terabyte hard drives. Okay, so you need to look at the specs of the hard drive, um, of the computer actually, for the what kind of hard drive to go in there. As long as it's a SATA hard drive, okay, you could put the hard drive in and reload. You need your system re uh, restore CDs, just like this one though. Um, the system restore CDs are probably on this hard drive and uh, the customer may not have made those. Uh, in that case, um, when I did my uh, touchscreen uh, uh, computer that I use for all my uh, YouTube videos now, um, I went on uh, HP's website and ordered the recovery CDs, re rest restore CDs, for $15. Not a bad price at all. So uh, you want to do that before uh, this thing becomes uh, um, e extinct, <laughs> basically. Uh, you know, and uh, and you can't do anything with it. When you put the hard drive back in, the keyways, you push it down. Okay, and it's a tight fit. Okay, you're gonna slide that slide that down all the way, and it is a very tight fit to, to get it in there. And sometimes, you know, it takes more than one effort to. I didn't move any screws or anything, so. Like I said, it's a very tight fit. There we go. And then slide it forward so the connections put your screw back in. All right, your memory chips are over here. You can take your fingers and pop them out. Remember, hold memory chips on the edges because of electrostatic discharge. All right, and you have two of them in there, and the bottom one the same way. When you put these back in, just like I showed in one of the other ones, you don't want to put it halfway back in like that and lock it down. All right, because your pins are still showing, your computer will not boot when it's like that. You have to put it all the way in. Seat them all the way down, push it down, you hear one click, and it happens. All right, so so uh, that's where your BIOS chip, your memory, this is your battery, your memory, and your hard drive is on an HP DV7. All right, now on this guy, you have tabs that have to go in on the back. So put it in like this, place it down, and then on the sides you have to do your clicking, okay? Push down there, push down there, push down there, and screw your panels back in. All right, put your uh, battery back in, and um, and you're in business. Hope the video helped you out. Um, uh, subscribe if you wish. 
All right, bye for now.